then, so let's get on with making this Victoria sponge cake. In a bit of a rush, so we're gonna do it the real quick way, okay? First of all, our 200 grams of soft, warm butter. Now it's important that all the ingredients are the same temperature, otherwise it can split and it doesn't look too good. So, butter or margarine, whatever you've got, caster sugar, plain white, or even that golden caster sugar is pretty good. I've got an electric whisk. If you haven't, then I'm afraid it's elbow grease and use a wooden spoon. All right, let's go. So keep whisking it until it becomes light and fluffy. Like double cream or one of them Mr. Whippy ice creams that you have. Take your time, you don't want any lumps. The creamier, the softer it looks, and the better and fluffier your cake will be. Promise. Oh, that's noisy. Right, to that, I'm going to add a little bit of flavour. I've got some vanilla flavour, so I'll just put one capful in there, get that going. And I've got my eggs, and I'm just going to add them a little bit at a time. Now your mixture should look lovely and creamy like this. Okay, now if you're mixing yours and it starts to split, in other words it looks a little bit like a scrambled egg, just put in a spoonful of the flour that you're going to be using and then keep whisking, that should sort it out. I'm now going to fold in my flour, so I've got my self-raising flour, got a sieve, just because I don't want any lumps. And to this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. And then quite simply, I'm just going to fold it all in together. Perfect. So the mixture's ready, now I just need to prepare my tins. So I'm just going to get a little bit of butter and brush, well, brush it, rub it all in, all around the uh, inside of the tray, like that. Then put a small amount of flour in, give it a good old shake round. Take off the excess, so I have a line tin. I'm gonna do that for two of these tins. All you've got to do is just divide the mixture between your trays. Now what you can do, if you had a muffin tray and some cupcake cases, you can make like little individual ones, because this is essentially just a basic cake mix. Now make sure you scrape it all out. Now, don't bash it. Just give it a gentle little shake so it goes around and then just gently with the back of a spatula or a knife or even a spoon just press very lightly your mixture around the sides so it's nice and even like that. Do that for both of them then pop them into a, an oven 180 degrees 160 fan for about 20 minutes you might want to turn them halfway through okay so I'm going to do that now. Let's get these in the oven then. As tempting as it is, please don't link the bowl. It's got raw egg in it. And raw egg could potentially give you a horrible, horrible food poisoning called salmonella. So try and steer clear of it. I know it's tempting, but that cake could be ready in 20 minutes. So it's time to check on our cakes, all right, which we've been doing regularly anyway. So now I'm just gonna make sure they're actually thoroughly cooked. So let's take one out. So the way to do that, take it out, some form of skewer, gently in the middle, lift it up, comes out clean, cake's cooked. So let's get them both out of the oven. I'm gonna leave them about two minutes just to cool down, and then I'm gonna flip them over and put them on a cooling rack and let them cool down. This is where we find out to make sure we greased and floured it well so it doesn't stick. Now these dishes are a little bit hot, tipped it over. Oh, perfect, look at that, an almost clean tin. Do the same with the other one and we're gonna let them cool down now for at least half an hour. We need to be stone cold before we put any filling and dressing on them. So, time for a cup of tea.
Okay, so our, our cakes are proper cold now. They're nice and golden all the way through, which is fantastic. So now what we're gonna do is make um, butter icing and put the jam layer in it just to finish it off. This bit can make a bit of a mess. So you want some softened butter. This is about 100 grams. And to that, I've got 200 grams of sifted icing sugar. As I said, this is gonna make a bit of a mess. Yep. So, what you can do, very carefully, put a cloth over the top, and that will stop stuff going everywhere. Be very careful. And keep mixing until it goes really nice and creamy, okay? And it will just drop off on there. If you want to, you can add a little dash of vanilla to give it a bit of extra flavour. So all you've got to do now is gently just spread that buttercream all around the top of the base layer. Make sure you get right to the edges and that every bit gets some. Once you've spread it on nice and evenly, just put that to one side and then take the second sponge and this time you're gonna add your jam to it. Now whatever jam you like. Personally, I love raspberry jam. I've got some that I made uh, last year and it's still as good as anything. Just spread it around, nice, thick, sweet, gorgeous layer of jam. Oh, that is looking good, looking really good. Okay, and then all you've got to do, take your base, take the top, flip it over, and then, just to finish it off, just some... A dusting of icing sugar. And voila. And there you go. One Victoria sponge cake. Just tidy it up on the top and enjoy it. It'll keep for about two days in an airtight container, okay? Not that it'll probably last that long anyway. I know this one won't. This is heading for someone's birthday. Take care, have a great afternoon. Don't forget to send me your pictures.